from my perspective, it's really important to say one thing initially, which is how privileged I feel to stand alongside Pat and David this morning, um, to be bestowed with the honor of officially launching this International Declaration on Youth Mental Health. To the young people, be leaders. Be leaders in your community. Be leaders amongst a group of friends. Be leaders in your own life. And what they mean by that is that the social capital that actually comes from, from investing in young people from childhood right through. So these are some of the highlights uh, for me about some of the main problems of um, uh, current service structures for young people with mental health problems. Hello, it's great to be here today. I'm very excited to have an international conference here in Brighton. Um, and uh, what fantastic presentation so far. And I must say there is some real leadership and, um, and fantastic projects that we can learn from here in, in England, I think, um, and, and across the UK. Said, we don't like what it is that you're doing. Um, you're going to make our lives really difficult. You're creating demand for our services and we'd like you to stop it, please. And my response was, actually, the demand exists in the community. We're not creating demand. You can't meet the needs of your populations. So maybe some of its dangers. Yes, uh, I think... What are your thoughts about I that? I think it can be... I think there's always going to be dangers with, with the internet and social media because it's very hard to police. But I think it can also be a very powerful tool for good, especially with things like Twitter, like we've been using at this event. Maybe more potential for change than in any other time of life. I've come to think of emerging adulthood as, a, as potentially a critical period for resilience. And it's trying to get the balance now of letting her get on with it and keeping the distance, but keeping in touch, really. And she's managed to get herself a part-time job. So we're the essential stakeholder. We, we are in the best position to talk about our experiences and um, what it's like for young people, what technology young people are using. So we, we are there because we're important, we're a valuable part of this process. What does it look like to actually understand the world of a young person from a young person's perspective? Because if you don't believe that technology is important, then I think you're doing yourself a disservice as a professional. This is William Shakespeare, and uh, in The Winter's Tale, there's a quote, I would that there were no age between 10 and 23, but there is nothing in the between than getting wenches with child, wronging the ancient tree, stealing, fighting. It's <laughs> Guys, tell us a little bit about your poster and what it means and where it's coming to. Okay, my name is Alana Donnelly. Hi, my name's Laura Caven. Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Sylvia Morgiasen. Um, so we're from the St Albans Youth Council. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Hamish Alka-Jones. Okay, so this poster is based on... Um, what I want to do is basically build on the, the power and I think the sensitivity and sophistication that you saw in those first two talks about where young people are actually at and what they're actually going through and shift the focus to the theme of the conference, which is young people at the forefront of, of, of services.